Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to rewrite a quadratic when it's not in standard form. And it might be in the form of something looking like this, which I have an example here, where A, B, C, D, and E all represent real numbers. And to graph an ellipse, um, it's very difficult um, to be able to do this without, unless you're using a, a graphing cal uh, you know, calculator. Um, or some graphing technology. But otherwise, to graph this mainly, we're going to want to write it into our standard form where we can easily identify what the center is as well as what the values of A and B are, which represent your values for your vertices and covertices. So um, the first thing you want to do is organize the variables. Because as I see here, you, know, you can see that the x is plus y x plus y. So the first thing I'm going to want to do in this example is I'm going to kind of talk my way through exactly, show you step by step, as well as kind of go through an example um, for this, because I know a lot of students have trouble with this. So I organize my value. So I have 4x squared minus 8x plus y squared plus 4y equals 8. Now, sometimes you'll see that 8 will be with your, all your variables. You'll just want to add it to the other side so then it's by itself. Now. Basically, what I have here is now I'm going to want to separate. So I organize and separate. Actually, let's use the blue. So I'm going to separate these. Okay. Now, that's still a positive, but I'm just going to separate them because I have you know, my addition for my ellipse. And basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to complete the square for each variable. Now, if you need help with completing the square, I got multiple, I got another course you know, to help you out with that. And I'm going to go through an example here, and you'll get plenty of practice as well. But remember, the act of completing the square is taking a trinomial and rewriting it as a binomial squared. Um, so you can see here, this isn't a trinomial yet. I don't know my value of c. So I have to create a value of c that's going to create a perfect square trinomial that I can rewrite as a binomial squared. So to first do this, I always got to make sure that this value is 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually factor out a 4. So then I'm left with x squared minus 2x. Actually, let's keep the blue here. I kind of like the blue. Here, I'm looking pretty good, right? So I'm just going to rewrite this one. y squared plus 4y squared equals 8. All right, so this fact of creating this value that's going to create a perfect square trinomial, right? These aren't trinomials. They don't have the value of c. Remember a trinomial? Um, a, or a perfect square trinomial quadratic would be ax squared plus bx plus c. We don't know the value of c. We want to create a value of c that's going to create, make this a perfect square trinomial. So to do that, we take b squared divided by um, b divided by 2, sorry, squared. So therefore, in this case, I'm going to take negative 2 divided by 2 and square it. Well, negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. 1 squared is going to be positive 1. So I have 4 times x squared minus 2x plus 1. And then plus, here I take uh, 4 divided by 2 and square it. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So I have y squared plus 4y plus 4 equals 8. Now, the next step I need to do is notice I added, this is an equation, right? I added a 1 and I added a 4 on the left side. Therefore, I need to add those values to the right side to make the equation still true. But there's one little caveat that we have is remember, whenever you factored out a 4, that 4 is still multiplied back through, right? I just factored it out, but you need to make sure you understand that 4 is still being multiplied by all these terms. So I really didn't add 1 here. I actually added 1 times 4. So I'm going to add a 4 over here. And then I added a 4 in here, but that 4 is just being multiplied by 1. So I'm going to add another 4. Now I have created, by using completing the square, perfect square trinomials. So now I can rewrite these as a, a binomial squared. And by doing that, I just factor these as binomial squared. So this one would be x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 16. Now. Again, we're almost there. You can see now I have my two binomial squares. The last part is now to go ahead and rewrite them to make sure you have uh, it's equal to 1. So I completed my square and make sure my final equation is equal to 1. So to do that, I need to divide by 16. And I'm going to divide every, both of these terms by 16. Obviously, you can see that here that divides into 4. So I have x minus 1 
squared over 4 plus y plus 2 squared divided by 16. y plus 2 squared divided by 16. Remember the 16 divides into both of those and that equals 1 as that divides into 1. So there you go ladies and gentlemen. That is how you rewrite a, an ellipse and from this form to your standard form. Thanks.